What's up, YouTube? Robert the Coroner Drap here. I decided I kind of wanted to do a uh, a video today on some of my favorite things, and uh, I was going to do, uh, or I have plans for other shows. Uh, I'm going to throw these out to you guys, so that way you guys can tell me if you want to see these kind of things uh, in the future. If not, then uh, I guess I'll have to come up with some new ideas. <laughs> but, uh, uh, first off, these guys, badass beard care, not a sponsor. Just, I love them. The guy that runs it is a, a veteran of the Army. The product's all natural. I really like touting it out. You probably see here in the intro me holding one of their uh, metal cards. That's a service that they offer monthly. So if you know somebody or you yourself have a nice man mane and you want to keep it in good shape and you want to keep it looking good, you want to keep it smelling good, uh, I highly recommend their products. It's, it's just great stuff to have. And they do, do a f uh, they do offer rather a free trial for you if you choose to go on ahead and take advantage of it. Go to BadassBeardCare.com <laughs> Yeah, BadassBeardCare.com uh, uh, pick the, the, the trial size that you think works for you. They do describe their scents. I personally like the original, which is a uh, vanilla, more vanilla smell. And they also have a ladies' man that I prefer, uh, which is uh, very orange citrus. And I, I really like that. Um, again, not a sponsor, just somebody, a, a, a company that I like tout now whenever I get a chance, uh, because you got to take care of your beard, man. You got to take care of yourself. And that's, that's a very, that's a very big thing that so many people, they'll do a thing. They'll, they'll think about, oh man, I feel terrible. Or what should I do for myself to, to make myself feel better? I mean, you only get one body, so might as well try and make it last as long as possible. And speaking of bodies, as you can see, I'm not only wearing this hat. I, I love this hat. I do. I'm also wearing one of my favorite shirts. I call it uh, Doctor Wars. Uh, I like the fact that while it's Smith, who's not my favorite doctor, he's using a bit of intelligence on the lightsaber. <laughs> using the sonic, like, no, I'm going to shut that off now. <laughs> and I think Vader would be stumped. It'd be like, the f did, did you just fucking shut off my lightsaber? You son of a bitch. Nobody's done that to me before. But, no, it's, it's one of my favorite shirts. I don't get to wear it all that often because I try not to. And that's a, that's a thing. What, what do you do, really, when you come across a shirt that you really love and you like wearing but it fades away it wears out do you go out and buy another one because i have what i like to call the dark side of the rain boom uh it's a pink floyd rainbow dash shirt it was one of the first pony shirts i ever bought i think i bought it at hot topic i want to say i did because I also bought my uh, Luna is Best Princess, because that's a fucking fact, um, t-shirt. And I, I, it's it's so faded, so loved, that you can barely even see any part of the graphic anymore. So, I may have to go on Amazon and find a new one. And uh, get it sent here. Oh, speaking of Amazon, some of you may have, uh, some of you who follow my Facebook may have seen that I was having a bit of a dust up with them. Um, turns out when I ordered the webcam, the microphone, the, uh, what else did I order? Mm. The sock and the other thing, which I'm not going to mention because I know my husband watches my videos. Um, yeah, I bought him an anniversary gift, and 
when I looked at my bank statement, it had said charging you $166.03 for a debit from Amazon, which, you know, I bought this stuff. It was not cheap. I paid that much. I was happy with it. And then it said the very next charge, same day, $166.03 pending. I'm like, the fuck? No. No. I am not paying twice for the same order when I didn't buy two of the uh, two of everything that I ordered. Although one thing I kind of wish I had because when it came in I was like, "Oh my god, this was exactly what I wanted. This is awesome. I can't wait to see his face. He's going to love it." Um and so I emailed Amazon because I didn't know how to get a hold of my bank. Mm -hmm. It's just a pay card. I don't like calling on the phone. And when I did this, when I when I got a hold of Amazon via email, they were like, listen, we need to verify this. We need to see this. And when we see this, we're going to go on ahead and do what we can. But uh, we didn't charge you twice. We're looking on your, on your account. We did not charge you twice. And I'm like, motherfucker, let me show you. I go on, I log on on my phone, scroll down to the thing, because the wonderful part about it is every charge that you make on the, uh, on the phone app, you can scroll up, but the header still shows this is your bank balance, these are the pending transactions, these are the la this is the last time you uh, logged on. And I'm like, okay, hang on. Screenshot, attach to email, send. And I haven't checked my email since then because I'm a trash human who doesn't check emails. And when I looked yesterday, the, the charge was gone. So either the charge didn't clear because Amazon didn't pursue it, or Amazon realized what was going on and thusly refunded me for that, which is awesome. So, yeah, I think I owe them like four bucks because I did the math wrong. Because I was, I went ahead, looked at all of the charges except for the double charge, and I even still counted one of them. And I did the math, and up until uh, one point I was right, and then... I know what I did, but it was because it, I wasn't thinking, and then I made a made a terrible mistake. Um, I bought a couple monsters on Sunday last week at the comic shop, and because I bought those, and I think I spent like four dollars earlier that day for lunch. I didn't think about it, and then I went to went to Walmart with uh, with uh, L and we went to McDonald's and I was like oh well I've still got 10 bucks I should be fine then I came out and I had 64 cents <laughs> oops but no I mean I really I, I, I really think that now that I got that cleared up I'm gonna keep using Amazon um I don't know what the next purchase is going to be if I make another purchase from them in the next month. Uh, also, I don't know if I'll keep the Prime, although I do want to. I may have to look at the cost because if it's less than six bucks, I may just drop it and do straight Twitch support for uh, loading ready uh, loading ready run because I did subscribe. Uh, with Twitch Prime, which was free, uh, on their latest uh, Loading Ready Live episode, which is their variety show that I really like. And it was, I mean, the production values keep getting, keep getting better. So, there's that. And I also did another thing. I went and got a, got a bank account, of all things. Now we have a bank account, and that reminds me I'm going to have to go get the rent check today. 
So that's going to be interesting. And and this kind of leads me back to things I like to do for me. I like to go and buy stuff, as is evidenced by all the stuff here. I mean, you can't even see all of the all of the figures. We have not only these two shelves right here, but we have another double set of shelves on the other side of the window, which is just anime and and video game figures. And, and there's one pony over there. And I love all of the things that we have. And it's going to be interesting to see what we pick up this year at Ren Faire, which is another thing I'm going to have to look at whenever uh, my paycheck comes in, is uh, what am I going, what am I willing to save or pull to go and pay for, for things at the Renaissance? And I don't know what I'd want to get this year. And this is a point where I'm going to kind of apologize to all of those who are of the pagan slash Norse mythology because your symbology and, and your icons are beautiful. There's no arguing it. Uh, the Volknut, the, uh, the, the Mjolnir, those, those to me are, are beautiful symbols. Uh, even Ysidril, I, I, I love it. I do. And I have to kind of impart nod to uh, the Marvel comic universe, the cinematic universe, as to bringing some of these icons forward, some of these ideals forward, and helping it, helping make it uh, easier for idiots like me to pronounce certain words, because without that, I don't think I would have looked any further. Now, there is also the wolf head that I've seen one of my friends wear, and again, a beautiful symbol. So, I've been thinking I want to maybe go and get one for myself that I maybe want to go out and spend the money to get a pendant like that for myself. And, again, like I said, I want to apologize to all of my friends who may or may not like the fact that I do this. So, I don't know if I should, being that I'm not of the faith, but I kind of want to do it because I love not just what it represents for you guys, and I know it means quite a lot, which is why I have a high respect for it. Just like I would have a re high respect for anybody who walks into a walks into a place wearing a cross. I understand that iconography. I understand what it means to you. And depending upon, you know, kind of the the schism of faith on that, which I will not go into what I believe. I realize how much it means to you, how much it, how important it is to you, and I respect that. Would I wear a cross? I have in the past, but again, depending upon the, the, the variant of faith, I might not do it. I might not wear it because I might not feel comfortable with it. So I'm very much in that, in that, um, nervous place where I want to do this but I don't know if I should so um let's see what else uh, another thing I may do is uh, I may go get some more metal dice see to grab see I love this I don't know if you can see it on camera is that is the arc reactor the from Iron Man 3 I want to say the, the, the triangular one. I really liked how, how it was stitched. And this is a very nice bag. I forget who I bought it from. I bought it at, at uh, Comic-Con. Or Comic-Palooza, rather. Uh, 
I want to say a couple of years ago. But yeah, that guy. That right there. Full metal, very heavy. I mean, I'm going to be quiet here. I'm going to drop it from about, I want to say, four inches from the desk. So, got a 19. <laughs> and I keep it in the little, the little bag it came in. Um, but no, I, I, I love this, this dice. It's, it's rather weighty. You can feel it. And I, I like that I have it. And I bought it at Renfair last year after getting married. And, again, that was something for me. And I want to kind of do that again. I want to go out and maybe buy another dice. Or maybe I'll just buy uh, another D20, not metal, but made of stone or something. I don't know yet. What I do know is I will not be going to see the following shows as much as I love them to death. I will not be going to see Dead Bob. Allow me to expand on that thought. I love the Dead Bob show. The Dead Bob show is a damn good show. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't be at the Renaissance Festival every year and make the amount of money that it does. Because I'm absolutely certain with the, the crowd that it draws, it is amongst the most popular shows at Texas Renaissance Festival. But I will not be going because I've seen it for the last three years. It's never different. It's never anything but the same show every time. And I kind of got a feel that this is, that's the running theme of why I will not be going to see these shows. Um, Sound and Fury. I love Sound and Fury. They are a damn good show every single time you go to see them. However... They don't do any new plays. They always tout that, oh, we're, we've got these DVDs that have all these new plays. And I'm like, motherfucker, show me. Do three different shows. Make me want to come back to every single show. Make me want to show up for a certain time. Because maybe you're doing three different shows that day, and I happen to catch the first one. But I'm like, man, you're going to be doing this one later? Fuck, i got to make sure I'm here for it. Oh, i got to make sure I'm here all day. Um... So that's, that is what it is. Again, no, these guys, and I will note, every single one of these performers are extremely popular and very, very funny. I, I, love, I love their shows, but I'm sick of seeing them now. Um, this one is, is, again, the same vein, very funny, very, very inappropriate but or as he would like to say wildly inappropriate Arthur Greenleaf Holmes again very funny again love seeing him sick of hearing the same poems over and over and over again I mean he doesn't he doesn't do any new material he doesn't he doesn't have to people keep showing up to his poems keep showing up to his shows he'll do the same ones and it's very much the same for Iris and Rose. I love Iris and Rose. They are absolutely hilarious. I wouldn't have paid money to get their uh I wouldn't have paid money to get their shirt. My husband bought their C D. But again, I've heard everything that they have to put out and I'm kind of done with it. So I will not be going to see those shows this year. Uh, Shiloh the Magician, I will probably go and see, although he does only have the one act that he does, the escape attempt, or the escape illusion that he does, and it's a marvelous show. I'll probably go and see it again this year, but there's a cup, <coughs> excuse me, this has been happening all, all week too, um, Shiloh the Magician I'll probably go see once. Uh, I'll probably go and see the the, the barbarian bombshells. Uh, I've not seen their I've not seen their act, so I don't know. They could be amazing. The fire whip show. Uh, again, he's he does the same show. He does the same act every time. So I may not go see it, but. It's not bad. 
Also, I'm debating, and this is not a show, but I'm debating whether or not I'll even do the dragon wing eating contest this year. I won for two years in a row. And then last year I got, I, I did not win. And I would say that I was screwed, and the guy that worked there, he was like, no, you got, you got a little gypped on that one, but it's okay. You know, it happens. And he's not wrong. It does happen. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You, you, you just, you know, nothing you could do. But uh, I may or may not do it. I, I don't know. I, will, I want to kind of call that a game time decision. And I've got two weeks before uh, before we go. So, and I've already requested uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. We'll probably camp as we as we do every year. But this year, I don't think I'll be camping where where we normally camp, which is also inexplicably every year right next to the uh, Stephen F. Austin. For, uh, college kids who come out there it's weird I don't there's a guy that that shows up there I don't like him and I had to make a real effort I think it was like either the first or the second year uh, Elle and I went out there I saw him and I was already wasted and I don't remember, but I do know that I did not go over there, and I did not talk to him. But I was pissed, cause, because of what he did to me in the past. I feel as though while anger, holding on to anger is toxic, I would probably not want to be anywhere near him. I have a wonderful life now. I have a, a, a loving husband. I've got great friends. I have a, a community of people who support me in trying to live the best that I can to do the best that I possibly can. And if I went over there, cracked a bottle across his face, and beat the shit out of him, I probably wouldn't have all that anymore because I'd go to jail. By the way... Don't know if y'all know this. Everybody hears that there's like drugs and, and, and sex and violence and all that shit out, out at Ren Faire. And it's kind of true, but I will tell you this. It's not as prevalent as you think because the cops do come around. They do patrol out there. They, they kind of run security for Texas Renaissance Festival. And that's wonderful. I actually like that because it then makes it a little more friendly pa place and less likely that some, uh, something stupid's gonna happen. Although they do have a place called Naked, uh, where they play a game called Naked, J Naked Jenga. So I don't know exactly how, how far they're willing to extend uh, a rule of law out there. Mm. Um, but no, I, I don't know what I exactly wanna do for myself. I don't know if I wanna do anything special, go out and buy something special, but there you go. That's that's what I'm thinking about doing. So, please throw your comments down below. What you think of the video? Maybe hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the bell. That would really help me out. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys here next time.